Are you struggling to find the perfect art piece for your home office? Stay tuned. This video has a solution you've been searching for. Hello guys and welcome to Sandra's Studio Toolbox. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this video yet or if I put up a video showing you the process of how I got to this point of designing my home office space. Um, but today I just want to go over um, putting up artwork. Like right here I have a piece of artwork that's black and white. And I will tell you this guy, the type of person that I am, I am an interior stylist. Um, I do not and I will not buy artwork from a store that I can create myself, whether that's through um, doing my own media uh, artwork or creating it digitally on the computer. And I think that um, you really can save a lot of money when you really just put your own talents into um into your artwork because artwork is suggestive okay um i don't like having something in my room that everybody else has that really irritates me to a point so what i like to have is just a piece of artwork that i know i custom created or i custom designed so that it is unique to my space. It's not something that I got from Home Goods. Not something that I got from, um, what? I mean, where, I guess that's where everybody goes. Home Goods or, um, now that I think of it, <laughs> where do people go and buy the LZ galleries? Okay. Uh, restoration hardware and you, you you go to these places and you're gonna pay a pretty penny so today I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna replace this piece of artwork which I will tell you was actually done um, in AI this was an AI project and um, I want to show you how I can make a custom piece for my space I want an abstract piece of art that includes these colors so I'm going to show you the program I use and how I get that accomplished and how I'll get this on this wall. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Lexica and I'm going to type in uh, abstract art piece and the colors of gold comma cream and dark gray I think my keyboard keys are sticking okay now I'm gonna generate that and see and I might have to tweak it uh, to say all painting or watercolor or um, pastels you could you could do it in any style or design you want now here we go this is some of the artwork which i actually love i think some of this is really beautiful okay so let's do one more and let's say um abstract art piece using uh watercolor And then in the colors of, I'm going to switch these. I'm not sure if it's going to make a difference and put cream first and then gray sec. I mean gold second because I feel like gold is the dominant color in these photos. So let's see what we can get and let's do another generate. And I'm also thinking about down the line creating my own uh, digital art pieces that you guys can have access to that you'll be able to download and use for yourself to put in your own space. If you would be interested in that, drop a comment below. Let me know if that would be something that you would be interested in. Now these here are beautiful. 
So I'm going to pick the ones that I like for right now. Um, I like all three of these. I don't know about this one. So what I'm going to do is download this one. Download this one. Download this one. And I absolutely love this one. And this one. Well, and I'll also try this one. So now I'm going to go back into design files. I'm going to go back into my space in the library. I'm going to go to upload. Select the files from the computer. I'm going to go to my downloads. Here are all the ones that I just downloaded. Okay. And I'm going to open them. And because these are my personal um, pieces, I'm not going to add anything into it because I'm not sure what my pricing is going to be when I do decide to offer them in a bundle. Um, I will offer bundles for the digital downloads as well. Like I said again, if that sounds like something you would be interested in, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think or if you'd like to see other things. Uh, to create for you in a digital form okay so right now I'm gonna click on I'm done and we're just gonna say abstract um, art and this is a oil it's like an acrylic okay and I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to have to do this for all of them individually. So here we go. This one here is uh, abstract acrylic. This one here is abstract acrylic. This one here is abstract. This one here is watercolor. And I'm going to copy that because I feel like the rest of them at the bottom is the watercolors, right? And we're going to save them all. Okay, now just that quick, we're going to delete this one. And we're going to put in this one. Size it down. Okay. Now you could change the shape and size of your uh, painting if you want it wider. You can do that. Um, let me go back into Lexica. Like right over here, you can change your dimension size uh, if you like. With Lexica, with Lexica, they're always going to give you four designs for each design that you choose. Um, I'm able to use my designs and sell them as my own because I do have an account with them. Just to let you see here, um, I got the account for $96,000 a year. I've only done eight um, so far because today was the day that my um, contract started over. And you're able to do a thousand drawings in one month, which I think is amazing. You know, absolutely amazing. You can actually go here and create your own if you like. You know, you don't have to buy them from me. You can create your own abstract art and how you would like to do it. Okay, so I think that's a nice size piece. Let's bring it to the back. You know, let's bring it all the way to the back. Did I do that right? No. Okay. And bring it to the front. There we go. Okay. So right here I had added a pegboard. And I think that I am going to remove this pegboard out of the way. Because that was just through trial and error. And look at that, guys. Look at that piece of art that we've just created using... Lexica, an AI piece of art. This is beautiful on the wall. Let's try another one. Um, that's a watercolor. I want to try this one. I am just going to really place it on top. 
So let's see. These are some definite that I'm going to be um, printing for myself. I can already see this. These are definitely going to be some of my go-to prints um, for my office. My computer's running really slow. I'm not sure what's going on. But um, give me one moment. Let's take this one out. I was going to put it on top. but Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, guys, this is beautiful. Now, remember, this is your artwork. You can you can flip it. You can make it go long ways if you want, you know, and do it in that form. Make sure it's at a 90 degree. That is so crooked for 90 degrees. That does not look like 90 degrees. That, okay. I don't know what's the deal with that. Um... It could be just the room design itself. Remember, all rooms are not straight. Okay, you see how I, I changed that and made it long ways? Look at how cool that is. Beautiful piece of art. Did it in under, what, 10 minutes? And added it to a space. You can have these things printed out in, at different spots. If you are interested in wondering how can you... Get a digital download printed and you would like me to do a video on how to print or where to print your digital downloads. Leave me a comment below. And uh, as always guys, thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, please um, comment again, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you again on another video. Thank you.